Hello, my amazing artist. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this colorful toucan drawing. And I've put him in a uh, environment of his natural habitat in the jungle. And so I've made some pretty leaves using different shades of green. And we're gonna talk a little bit about, in a minute, about how to draw him and color him. But first I wanna tell you a little bit about toucans. And then I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about an artist, a very famous artist who liked to put toucans in his artwork. So to begin with, toucans are a very distinct bird. They really stand out because they have this very large beak. And the beak is very important because this is how they regulate their body temperature. They keep their beak nice and warm, their whole body stays warm. So at night when they sleep, they'll tuck their beak under their wings and that keeps their whole body warm. And their beak is also very important because it's a tool for uh, how they eat their food. And they mainly eat fruit, but they also like to eat insects and frogs and reptiles. But if they're eating their fruit, they'll use that nice long beak to help peel their fruit and eat it. And you, you may have seen pictures of toucans or you may have seen a toucan at the zoo, but we don't have toucans where we live. Let me show you where toucans are from, where you'll find them. We live here in the United States of America on the continent of North America. And so down here in Mexico, which is also on the, on the continent of North America, but it's south of us, that's where we find these toucans and in Central America and then on the continent of South America. And there's lots of jungles in this area. Pretty, if it's in South America, they're gonna live more in this part of South America where it's warm and where they have more jungles. So, they love to live, they live in the jungle and they're really distinct by the features I showed you. And then the artist that I wanted to show you is an artist named Henry Rousseau. And this is one of his paintings. He is very famous for doing paintings of jungles. He was a French artist. So he's from the country of France and he lived from 1844 to 1910. And he is considered a primitive artist. A primitive artist is an artist that doesn't go to college to learn how to draw or paint or do any form of art. He just taught himself. So I think he did a very good job of teaching himself because I love his artwork. He started, he didn't paint until he was in his mid 40s and then he quit his job and he just started becoming a full time painter. But like I told you, he's very, very famous for these jungle scenes. I love his artwork because he uses lots of shades of greens to make all these leaves. It's very lush. And then you can find all these little hidden animals in there. Like there's a lion kind of peeking out behind some of it. And you see this bird and another kind of bird. There's another one even up here. And then there's the toucan. See, it's very long uh, beak that we were talking about. So we're going to be creating our toucans today just on a piece of white drawing paper. And then we're just gonna be using crayons and markers to color it. So to begin with, I'm going to do a little quick drawing tutorial for you on how to draw your toucan. So I'm gonna move this and get my white paper and I'm gonna turn it vertically with the, with the long side going up and down. And I'm going to use a black Sharpie because I want you to see my lines, but if you wanna start with a pencil, that'll be good and you can go back and outline it with black. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna make our branch to begin with. So near the bottom of your page, we're going to make a line that kind of curves up. And remember how we can draw with our fingers and give us an idea of where we need to put things. We're gonna make this toucan fill our page. So we don't want a teeny tiny little toucan, we want a big toucan that fills our page. So this is about the middle of our paper. Let's come down a little bit and we're gonna start on the edge and go across and make a line that kind of curves up. Yours doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And then we'll come under it, go down a little bit and do the same thing. I think I'm gonna make mine get a little more narrow because branches aren't all the same width all the way across. So that's our branch. Now we're gonna start making the body of our toucan. He's gonna go all the way up to the top. So we're gonna start with the top of his head. Toucans have kind of a flat head. So we're gonna start in this area towards the middle of the top and we're gonna go down and kind of around to our branch, okay? So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go over and then I'm gonna come down, kind of going straight down and then I'm gonna kind of curve around. 
He's sitting on the branch. Then we're gonna make this stomach part of his body. So I'm gonna come down from where I started a little bit, right about there, and I'm gonna go in and then out so he has a little stomach, okay? Little tummy. So I'm starting right about here. Remember, come down from where you started. We gotta leave room for his beak. And then go down and around like a little curvy line, okay? Now it's time to make his beak. So his beak just comes straight out, really close to the edge, because remember, it's a big beak, and then it's gonna connect with that bottom part of his body. So let's start here. And we're gonna go over, over, over. When we get close to the paper, go down, okay? I'm gonna go down just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna come up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna connect that with the body part that I had started just a moment ago. So from that little edge, connect it, okay? Now let's connect this part, go straight up, because that's where his beak ends on his face. So we're just gonna go straight up, and then let's put a little detail on his beak. So he, you know, for a beak, beaks are like that, right? They have a top and a bottom. So let's go all the way back to this little diagonal line that we made right here and go back over it and kind of go up. And I'm gonna make him kind of, his beak kind of curve like that. It almost looks like he's smiling, doesn't it? And then a lot of the times toucans have stripes on their beaks. Some, do, not all toucans do, but I want mine to have some stripes. So I'm gonna make some lines, some little stripes on here. Just a few, I don't want too many. And then maybe one up there. Okay. And now let's make his eye. So we're gonna give our toucan a big eye. We're gonna put two big circles, okay? Let's start our outer circle. Let's make it big. I like him to have a big eye. So let's make a big circle here. This is the outside part of his eye. And then inside, let's make a smaller circle. And you know what? We're gonna make a teeny tiny little circle for the white reflection on his eye, on his pupil. And then since I have my black marker, I'm gonna go ahead and color that in black. But if you're using a pencil, don't color it in yet. Just wait, but I wanted you to see how it stands out and how nice that reflection looks on the eye. It makes it look a little more realistic when we do that. Okay, there's his eye. All right, another thing about toucans is they have this white patch around their eye. So we're gonna draw this curvy line that kind of curves around the eye, and that's gonna be the white patch. Their bodies are black, but they have this white patch. So we just kind of come up and around like that. Now let's move down to where his feet are on the branch. So I'm gonna come where his body meets the branch, and I'm gonna kind of curve around just a little bit. And I'm gonna make three little zigzags and then curve up. That's easy. Let's do another one. Make a line that curves around. Three zigzags and then back up. And then his the tail feathers are gonna hang down back here behind and the branch overlaps this part of them so you don't see that. So coming behind and underneath the branch, you're gonna see the tail feathers. So we're gonna kind of come down where you think they would be, kind of look at your bird and kind of try to imagine where they would be. And they kind of go out, they make a line that goes out. Then we'll go across and kind of curve up. And then we can make another line that connects them. And that's the tail feathers. Now it's just time to fill in with some leaves. So remember, toucans live in the jungle, lots of leaves in the jungle. So I'm just gonna start by making some big leaves that kind of will fill this space. You can put however many leaves you want. I'm gonna just draw a few. So to make my first leaf, I'm gonna make a line that curves, and then I'm gonna make another one that meets it. And there are lots of different leaf shapes. So I'd like you to think about different leaf shapes. So let's, let me finish this one. In the middle, I'm gonna make a line for the veins of the leaf. And then I'm gonna make some little diagonal lines that do like this. But remember, there's all kinds of leaves. Let me show you some different kinds of leaves. And you can make all your leaves like that, 
or you can make different kinds. So sometimes leaves will go out and they'll kind of curve like that, come around. Again, we could put a line in it for the veins. You could leave it like that or you could put some more veins in it. However you want to make it, I could make some that are close together and then spread out farther apart. I'd like everybody's to look different so they all don't have to look the same. Sometimes leaves are just long and skinny like this. And they could just be colored a solid color. So you decide what kind of leaves you're going to put on your picture and I want you to fill the area with the leaves. I'm doing another one here. And I'm gonna make that in the middle. Okay, fill your area with leaves. Let me go back and show you the one that I did, that I finished. So this was mine. I did all my leaves on this one to look like this. So remember, you can do yours however you want. I want you to be creative. And then it's just time to color your toucan. So I used a combination of markers and crayons to color mine. And I pretty much colored all of the toucan with markers. Think about the different shades of colors that you can use, like on the beak. The beak is the beak of a toucan is usually oranges and yellows. And so I use different shades of oranges and yellows to, to create my beak and it gives it lots of variety. So it doesn't all just looks the same. It makes it a lot more interesting. And then remember the body of a toucan is black. So I just colored that in black. And then on my leaves, I use different shades of green. So they all weren't the same. And that's really what makes it interesting. Remember in our Rousseau painting, look at all those different shades of green you see. They're not the same. And that's what makes it so interesting. If they were all the same shade of green, it would all blend in together and you wouldn't be able to tell, see the different patterns that the leaves make. So color those areas in. And then when you get to your larger areas, like your background and even your branch, you could use crayons. So you decide how you wanna color it, take your time, do a neat job. Remember when we color, we go in the same direction so it doesn't look like scribble scrabble and just do a really good job. I hope you enjoy this project. I can't wait to see what you'd come up with. Thanks, see you next time.